Hello everyone, I'm Kyla from Zeusero, and this here is my pal Snickers. And today, we're gonna to be talking about how to transport your chinchilla safely. Before we start, make sure to come check us out. We have tons of high quality products made by pet lovers just like you. Check out the link in the description below to get 10% off your first purchase with our special YouTube viewer code. All right, let's get started. It's important that you know how to transport your chinchilla safely for when you're first bringing them home or if you have to take them to the veterinarian. You want to make sure to transport your chinchilla in a vehicle that has air conditioning. Chinchillas have to stay cool because they can easily overheat in temperatures that are higher than 72 degrees Fahrenheit or 22 degrees Celsius. Also, make sure to not place your chinchilla near a vent in your car. This is because the vents can blow air directly onto your chinchilla, which can make their eyes water and weep onto their cheeks. When deciding on a carrier, you want to look at how much airflow it will provide for your chinchilla. Carriers that have minimal airflow aren't a very good option because your chinchilla can easily overheat in a confined space. Instead, you'll want to choose a carrier that is made out of metal, so that way they can chew through it and escape, and will have enough ventilation throughout your trip. When transporting your chinchilla, you'll want to place some kind of bedding at the bottom of their carrier so it'll be able to absorb their urine during the trip. We typically use kiln dried pine shavings and place a one to two inch layer on the bottom of the carrier so that way they'll have enough to absorb their urine or to lay comfortably on. You'll want to transport your chinchilla with either loose hay or hay cubes. We typically opt for hay cubes because it doesn't make as much of a mess in our vehicle as opposed to loose hay. But if a little bit of hay on your flooring or seats doesn't bother you, then loose hay is a great option. As for pellets, you'll want to have a small portion of pellets in a bowl inside of your carrier. You don't want to have too much in there, just in case it tips over, but just enough so that way your chinchilla can eat it if it's hungry. If your carrier is a bit smaller and you can't fit a bowl of pellets inside of it, you can bring a bowl and some pellets and offer it to your chinchilla when you make a stop or arrive at your destination. Make sure to bring a little extra pellets in a Ziploc bag or a container for if your chinchilla eats them all and is still hungry. You also want to make sure not to place a water bottle onto their carrier. Chinchillas tend to get very stressed when being transported, so if you attach a water bottle, they won't drink out of it. And instead, the twists and turns that you make while driving will make the water leak out of the bottle and onto the bedding, making them sit in wet bedding for the duration of the trip. The leak water can also get onto their fur, which can cause their fur to mat or their skin to get fungus growth from the moisture. You'll still want to bring a water bottle though and offer it to your chinchilla when you make stops or if you're waiting at the veterinarian's office, but just make sure that you don't attach it to their carrier while you're driving. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe for more critter content. It really helps us out. Thank you guys so much again and we'll see you in the next video.